I'm going to show you how to make a mold for your epoxy projects, especially like river items, without having to use a mold and without having to use tape. And you don't need anything to, you know, mold release or anything like that. And how this works is by using a tablecloth, a plastic tablecloth that I got from the Dollar Tree. This only cost a dollar twenty-five. And the thought process is, is that I can use other things to make it in the shape that I want it. And then, you know, typically people have to plane or uh, sand the project anyway. And this is easily sanded and planed off. So I've got two pieces of walnut here. That's a piece of ambrosia maple underneath it for support. I realized later that board should have been wider underneath. And so I just folded the tablecloth. Now, what I should have done is, um, you know, put some wood on the outside of the tablecloth, pushing against it, because you'll see, um, you know, at the ends of the river, you know, I wasted epoxy. And same with having that ambrosia maple board underneath it. It should have been wider. You'll see that epoxy, you know, some epoxy fell. Now, some of this, of course, I did many pours to, to make this, and some of it was still a little sticky. But I wanted to go ahead and show this to you guys. And I was so impressed by how it came off of the bottom, especially. How clean it was. I thought the whole I thought everywhere that the epoxy was touching the tablecloth that it would be stuck and I'd have to sand it away. But look how easily that came off. And then you'll see that's excess there. That ran off the sides. But man, look how clean that is. What a what a cheap alternative to molds. And and the great thing about this is you can make whatever shape you need. And you know, you can buy plastic, I think, whatever size you need uh, to take care of a river table or whatever it is. So just add this to what you do.